this is Grace Gonzalez, and Grace, you're going to make some specialty drinks for mm -hmm. us, right? Yeah, we're going to make a hot mocha latte today. Mm, sounds good. So we're going to start by pulling our espresso shot. We all use right. a double shot of our Electric City Audubon Rose. Nice. You have all kinds of specialty drinks here, We right? do. So we're always fun. mixing it up. Put it in our espresso machine. Okay. And then while that's in there, I'm going to grab two pumps of mocha. And then I'm going to grab some of our Manning's whole milk, which we use for all of our house lattes. I love it because you do use as much as you can locally mm -hmm. sourced products. Which and it is makes great. the lattes much creamier too, yeah. which we love. So steam that. So now that we have our milk, I let that sit there, tap out the bubbles, grab a little spoon to mix the espresso in with the chocolate. And then I tap the cup and I'll tap the pitcher to get any bubbles out. Oh, we'll look see at how I, beautiful that looks. Yeah, that Manning's milk really helps make it creamy. Aww. A little heart came out. She made a heart. <laughs> so yeah, that's Perfect our mocha. Espresso. I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, this thank you. I love it. Oh, this is Hannah Ritzko, and Hannah, you're going to make us a different drink. What are we doing? Yes, yeah, so I'm making the S'mores Ice Latte. This is one of our summer special drinks. It's very popular around here, and it's kind of like a dessert drink, and everyone always just gets super excited when they see it. And it's right up my alley, yes. dessert drink. All right, so where do we get started? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it right in our espresso grinder, and this grinder is so perfect. It measures out exactly how much we need in everything. So I'm just going to shake so, it a little bit, make so it it's even. Always, it's always consistent that way, yes, right? Yes, it is and it pulls a double shot, so which just means it's two shots of espresso. And then I'm gonna put it on the espresso machine, and then I have this little shot glass that I'm gonna pour it into. All right. And it's great because when I hit this lever, it pours just the right amount of like water to espresso ratio, so okay. then it'll come out perfect. And then while that's brewing, I'm going to take my cup here. So I have two pumps of the toasted marshmallow. Right. And then two pumps of our chocolate. That's what gives it like the s'mores yeah. taste and everything. I like. It. And then I'm gonna take my whole milk that we use from Manning's, mm -hmm. and then I'll mix it up a little bit just to get because sometimes the mocha will stick to the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. So, you want so I make sure to like mix it up a little bit, and then usually by the time I'm done mixing that, the espresso machine will be done pulling the shot. I'll give it a little swirl just to mix it up a little bit. And then I'll just pour it right into the cup here so that I can mix it up even more. So then now I'm gonna take my glass and I already poured some marshmallow on the inside and just coated the inside of the glass. I put ice in it and I'm just gonna pour this over ice like this. And it looks real nice and chocolatey oh and everything. It already looks delicious. Like you could already have it as that, but we like to go a step further and add some whipped cream on top. Very nice. And then top it with some graham cracker crumbs. This is the real deal here. This I is know, like I wasn't joking. By the campfire, right? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. And then we'll take our Hershey's bar mm -hmm. that we already have pre-cut and everything, and then we'll just stick it right in there, and it's good to go. And it's it. just a fun summer drink that everyone loves, I love, all the staff here always ask us to make it for them, so. It's adorable. Hannah, thank you so much for creating this beautiful s'mores iced latte. Yeah, of course, I'm glad I could show you. And now you'll get to have a chance to talk with Larry a little bit about the building and everything that Bailey's is. Terrific, thank you. Yeah, of course. Bailey's opened up in January of 2023, so this year, this is our first year. We're in the building that was originally the Dalton Country Store that's been completely renovated and uh, redone. Here at Bailey's, we are a retail coffee shop on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Mm -hmm. We serve breakfast and lunch along with our whole coffee bar and all of our baked goods open to the public from typically around 8, 8 o'clock in the morning till around 3 in the afternoon. Here at the table, we have our Waveros Rancheros. Um, we do feature a lot of local ingredients here on our Waveros. We do have local eggs from uh, Fuller's Overlook Farms that we get every week. For lunch, we have a whole bunch of different salads and paninis and wraps we offer. Here we have our summer bib salad. Um, all of our lettuces, including our bib here, comes from Rollins Farm up in Falls. So we really try to feature some of the local products that are here to offer a really high quality breakfast or lunch. We offer private events here every Sunday. So Sundays are typically full with baby showers and bridal showers in those type of events. So Friday nights and Saturday nights, we do rehearsal dinners, we do birthday parties, and uh, other types of gatherings. Online, we have both our social media pages for Bailey's Cafe. Also on our website, constantinoscatering.com backslash Bailey's has all of our menus, our packages, and there's also all information on the website about booking private events. 
Excellent. Larry, thank you so much for having us. This has been so much fun. We You're welcome, Jackie. It. We love having you guys too. Thank you so much.